My big announcement is that tomorrow at 11 a.m. on this channel, I will be live streaming uh, the world premiere of my own personal thesis film. Hi everybody, I'm Toby G and I'm the creator of Maskers. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. Um, I have a big announcement at the end, um, so stick around for that. Um, but if you clicked on this video, you're probably here to find out what happened to Maskers. Um, those of you who've been following this project for a while um, may have started to notice that um, this is around the time when it was supposed to come out and there hasn't really been any sort of update on the project for like seven months. Um, and some of you may be wondering what happened to Maskers. I don't really have a script, I'm just kind of going off the top of my head. I just wanted to kind of sit down and let you guys know what happened and what the status of the project is. Maskers isn't in production right now. It hasn't been in production since February. Uh, I just kind of wanted to have a conversation with you guys and just be really honest. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I just want to really briefly give you some context for why the project isn't continuing. It wasn't really any one thing that brought me to the decision to end the project. Um, it was kind of a lot of little things, but the, the biggest thing uh, was really logistics. Without going into too much detail, over the summer I involved someone in the project who I got too personally involved with, um, and that person turned out to be abusive, and I wasn't in the place when I came back to school in the fall to keep running the project uh, at the level that I had been before all of that happened. I eventually came to the decision to take off my first semester of my final year of college, um, let everyone on my team know, uh, and basically said, you know, we'll pick things up again uh, second semester and then I'll take a third semester. It ended up being with my family situation that we couldn't afford for me to go to school for a third semester, so it came down to trying to finish whatever I could have masters with my team within that one semester since we had lost most of last semester. Um, by that point, you know, other people were working on their own projects, People were busy and, you know, a lot of time had passed and there were people on the team who were really integral to the team, very important to the work that we were doing, who just found that they couldn't devote the time to the project that they originally had been planning to. Um, and when that, that happened with a few different team members, um, you know, I tried to pick up the slack from what other people couldn't do anymore, but it eventually got to a place where I was like, okay, this, this isn't practical, this isn't going to happen. Um, for me personally, I'm not enjoying the work anymore, you know, my heart really isn't in it anymore, and I was just trying to get it done to get it done. I've been working on this project for so long, and I was really burnt out, um, and also I, I love Masters, I love the story, I love the project, and I'd like to, you know, do something with it, maybe not exactly the same, but do something with it sometime in the future, but it wasn't the right time, and I knew just trying to force myself to do this project, it wasn't going to come out the way I wanted it to, and I wanted my final senior project to be something that I enjoyed doing and that I could be proud of and that I could show to people. And also, you know, I hadn't been as involved personally in the artistic elements of the show uh, because it was all very intimidating to me. But first and foremost, I want to be a creator and I want to be an artist, not a boss. I love pre-production and I really enjoyed management. I, there was so much about it that I really enjoyed. Even stuff like handling the money was surprisingly enjoyable to me. But it isn't my love, and my love is drawing, my love is art, my love is creating. Um, and I just, I wasn't doing that anymore, and I wasn't enjoying it. So, uh, in February, I called off the project. It's no longer being produced. Um, all of the people that I was working with, my whole team, they're all amazing people who I love dearly, um, and hopefully will get to work with again and collaborate with again. Um, I had such a great time working with all of them. Uh, a huge thank you to Scotch. Um, his work has been amazing, and it was really, really awesome working with him, and I definitely think if, if all of the, the cards fall in our favor that we'll probably collaborate at some point, you know, not to speak for him, but, um, we're both really cool creators who have a lot to, to share, and, and yeah, I, 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 I think that this is definitely not the end of working with any of these people. Um, and I'm incredibly grateful and proud of all of the work that everyone did. I, I, I don't want to say that Masters is dead, you know, um, that story is still inside of me, it still informs the work that I'm making today, um, and I still have plans for that story if, I, if it ever does um, have the opportunity to come to light. So, um, you know, I, I don't want to say that Masters is never going to happen, but it's not happening right now. That said, what is happening? Because, uh, as you can see from the title of this video, um, I have a big announcement to make, which is, um, you know, obviously I ended Masters not that long ago, um, about mid-February. Um, in my own personal situation as a creator, um, I needed to f figure out a new final project. Um, 
thankfully I have an amazingly uh, understanding advisor um, who recognized the work and years that I put into my original project and wasn't about to be like, you can't graduate because you couldn't finish this majorly ambitious project. Um, so she let me kind of take the last six to eight weeks that I had before I needed to graduate to kind of do my own thing. I created my own animation, which is not something I would have thought I could have done a few months ago. I used to never really call myself an animator at all because I didn't think I had those skills. Um, but, you know, I, I wanted to do something new. I wanted to experiment. I wanted to push myself and see what I could make. And I took those last uh, eight weeks, or it was more like six weeks, um, and created an animation. It's a short animation. It's uh, the whole video all in all is about 50 seconds. But there's a lot packed into those 50 seconds. Uh, the film is called Uplifted. I, I had this debate with myself about whether or not I wanted to close down this channel and um, kind of redirect to a new channel that I make for my own personal work. Um, I don't know, is it is it sleazy? Is it scummy for me to just change the channel name and keep all my subscribers and make them be subscribed to something that isn't what they originally subscribed to? Um, and I thought about all that, but this is still my channel and this is still my content. And I, I would think that a lot of people that are subscribed now are people that enjoy animation, that enjoy the kind of work that I was setting out to do when I was doing Masters, and that I will continue to set up to do. So I, um, over time, would like to start migrating this account into a personal account for my own work, where I can post um, animations that I do. Um, I'm graduating, and after that, I would like to continue to do this, the same kind of work that I uh, did with this last project. I'd like to do more animation, I'd like to do more of my own independent creative work, um, and I will be putting that up here. Um, for anyone who doesn't want to be subscribed to that, who doesn't want to see that, I totally understand if you want to unsubscribe, I won't hold it against you. Um, but for those of you who might enjoy my new content, um, I'm glad to see you stick around. Um, so my big announcement is that tomorrow at 11 a.m. on this channel, I will be live streaming uh, the world premiere of my own personal thesis film. It would mean a lot to me if y'all came and watched it. Um, it'll be up on my channel after uh, it streams, so you can still view it and enjoy it. It's a very short film. Obviously, I was limited by the time constraints that I had, but I kind of tried to squeeze a lot into that little bit of time, and that's kind of what this film is, is it's uh, kind of a, a quick moment with a lot happening, and it's the kind of thing that you watch more than once. Um, so I hope that those of you who really enjoy it um, might want to take the opportunity to kind of pause it and really take in all of the different elements. I worked really, really hard on this film. I'm really proud of it. Um, I know that it isn't perfect and there's so many ways that I can improve it, but I was working within the time constraints that I had. Um, will I be releasing a full HD version? Uh, I would like to, but I'd also like to complete the project because it isn't finished. Um, I only had a few weeks to work on it, and I have so many grander plans for it. I have so many things I didn't get to do with it. Um, I'd like to make it full color. Um, I'd like to clean up the lines. I'd like to just make it a little bit cleaner overall. Um, and uh, maybe I'll set up a Patreon page or some donation page for people who want to support me as an artist in finishing that project. And I make no promises because I, you know, struggle with executive functioning issues and um, following through with the creative projects I want to do. But this is something I genuinely want to do. Um, if not that, then I'll be working on other animated projects um, in the future. Um, I don't really know how much I can say about it, but um, I have a really exciting project um, that I'll be doing in a few months with uh, the head animator of Robot Chicken. If you've seen my interview that I did with him on this channel, Dylan Markey, uh, we're going to be working on a film together. I'm really, really excited about it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know really what I'm allowed to say about that, so I won't really say anything more than that, but, um, that should be something you get to see soon. Um, so again, my live stream will be tomorrow at 11 a.m. on this channel. I hope to see some of you there. Uh, I'm mostly live streaming it for my family and friends who can't be there, but, um, if people who are following Maskers want to see that, um, I wouldn't complain, you know? I, I worked really hard on it, I'm really proud of it, and I hope that you all can enjoy it. So, um, thanks for watching, and I hope you tune in tomorrow, um, and subscribe if you don't want to see my animation, but that's kind of what this channel was anyway, so, um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for sticking around, those of you who did, I really, really appreciate it.